day, friends. I hope you're doing well. It's Frankie Rose. I thought maybe we should take another fast look at Casey White and Vicki White. They've been on the run for pretty much a week now. The U.S. Marshal Service said yesterday, Thursday, that they are on the look for both corrections officer and inmate, Casey White. So they're showing us some tattoos, and some of them are affiliated with an Alabama-based Alabama white supremacist prison gang. And I think they're called the Southern Brotherhood. So there's, he's got quite a few. Law enforcement officials in Alabama have been looking for Casey White, who was awaiting trial on a capital murder case, and Vicki White was his jailer. Since they disappeared, basically, from the Lauderdale County Detention Center, nothing, they, there's been no sign of them. So the two are not related, but they do have a special relationship. <laughs> so there are some photos here of uh, Vicki White when she's got her hair brown instead of blonde, and it does kind of make a difference in her appearance. So it's nice to know that either one, you know, she could go red for all we know. So we kind of have to be aware of that. But she's not very big. I think. So there's always that to it. And by watching some of the different videos, we get a good idea how she postures. It says here that they have been working together to plan this escape. And it's been going on for possibly up to two years before this happened. So last Friday, Vicki White, 56, told her co co-workers that the 38-year-old inmate needed to go to the courthouse for a mental evaluation. And she was taking the inmate alone, a violation of the sheriff's office policy. When she did not answer her phone or return that afternoon, they realized that the pair had gone missing. Authorities eventually found out that there was no evaluation scheduled. It was basically just a way for Vicki White to sneak Casey White out of the jail. They left in a patrol car, and that patrol car was found abandoned in a nearby parking lot, and it is assumed that Vicki White had parked her getaway car in the same spot, so all they had to do was transfer. In the past week, authorities have learned that Vicki White purchased an array of weapons. Now, this is scary. She's got an AR-15 rifle, a shotgun, and a 9mm, possibly a 45. That's what they have, and we know how dangerous he is. I don't know if she's going to survive this. I don't know. I don't trust that man as far as that kind of stuff goes at all. Federal investigators believe they'd been planning the escape for at least several, several months. Vicki White actually sold her home for $95,000, almost half of the market value, and had also sold her car just before the escape. Uh, she also filed paperwork to officially retire from her job. Police believe Vicki White has staged a 2007 Orange Ford Edge that had no license plates quite close to that parking lot. She bought the car for, and paid cash just a few days before they escaped. It was a well planned escape is what Keeley has been telling the media. She has a lot of knowledge about law enforcement and procedures. The Marshal Service and the Sheriff's Office have interviewed a bunch of associates, family members, and others who knew, bo who knew both Casey White and Vicki White and have received numerous tips for this investigation, but despite the best efforts, nothing has come up as a solid lead to locate them. 
it says here we've vetted out all the leads so far we have no legitimate spottings the marshal service is offering ten thousand dollars for information leading to casey white's capture and a five thousand dollar reward leading to vicky white i don't know why she's that low it, it, she should be right up there with him she's equally as dangerous at this time authorities have said casey white now this man get this six feet nine inches a monster size psycho <laughs> Casey White was being held at the jail on capital murder charges in the 2015 death of Connie Ridgeway he confessed to the 2020 killing while in state prison for other crimes he has also been linked to home invasions carjackings and police chases yeah, just a model citizen family members and colleagues said that they are bewildered by the involvement the involvement of Vicki White who had worked for the sheriff's office for 16 years with the inmate who had already been serving a 75 year prison sentence for attempted murder on other crimes craziness now let's see they're both out of Alabama at this point. Uh, Casey White in 2015 also threatened to kill his ex-girlfriend and her sister and said he wanted police to kill him. Authorities have advised his potential targets about his escape and threats against them have been taken, have taken appropriate protective actions. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's out and I mean he's threatened to do some pretty horrible things if he ever got out of there. So let's hope that um he's more interested in hiding than he is about getting revenge. The marshal's office has received more than two hundred tips to this point, and it's basically they've been from all across the US. The commander of its Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast Regional Fugitive Task Force. His name is Chad Hunt. He says, we've been seeing stuff coming in from the Northwest down to the Southwest, to the Northeast and everything in between. And they do have to look at every single lead. So, you know, I think that's basically once again where we're at for now, I don't, I'm not finding any other new information. Let's hope they get busted like today. They cannot be out at all. You know, he's accused and admitted doing some pretty horrendous things. So, you know, for the officers that have to stop these guys, please play safe, boys and girls. It's, um not a very safe situation for anybody at this point so friends i think for now that's probably as much as i can find i will oh here's an interesting factoid i was saying that she um, sold her house for ninety five thousand five hundred and fifty and uh, the county records list shows that that property was probably worth two hundred and thirty five thousand 600 so then there's that unreal okay nice nice to have you guys with me I am going to see if I can find anything else on these guys and look at a couple other other cases I am in the process of waiting for my computer I'm using a new but um, this computer is not meant for what I need it to do, so I'm only able to do a little bit at a time. So, anyways, stop the, stop the babbling, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!